We're joined this evening by Congressman Patrick McHenry, 10th District Congressman, for a little while longer, who is actually not running for another term. Ten terms, though. Can you believe it's been 20 years since 2004? I remember covering your first election. It kind of makes me feel old. But how does it feel knowing that it's been 20 years? Does it feel like it's been that long? No, it doesn't. Uh, time, time truly flies when you're having fun. And it's been, uh, it's been a really encouraging ride. A lot of changes in society and our economy in Western North Carolina. Uh, some good, some bad, uh, but mostly for the good. And you said having fun. Have you really had fun? Has it been everything you thought it would be when you first ran after Cass Ballinger retired? Uh, it, it, it exceeded my expectations over the long term. And, and I say fun, it was, it's been rewarding. There's been, there are major rewarding pieces to this, to this job of helping people, moving good legislation that will help, uh, help our country and the world. Um, but um, th that, that is built over time. And I've had a sense of joy about the job and that there's a reward for, for public service, and that is in doing good things and helping people. What made you decide not to run this time? Um, I'd, I'd made this pledge in my second term to myself that when, when I faced a Congress where I wasn't going to be better the next term than I was that term, I needed to leave. That that was the right metric to think about it. That I wasn't going to be in a more meaningful position to help outcomes and to be more productive for my constituents. And I hit that moment, this Congress, and I realized this time last year that it was the right time for me to step aside and let fresh energy, a fresh voice, and a new perspective uh, uh, take take over. And I felt very good uh, about uh, th that I had completed my public service and I was uh, did the best I could do with the time I was given. You served as speaker during a very interesting time between Speaker McCarthy and Speaker Johnson. What was that like? It was jarring. It was mm -hmm. jarring. I mean, the responsibilities of the institution um, and our, our constitutional order and the national security implications of the decisions we made in October of last year, uh, it was a serious weight uh, um, to, to hold the speaker's gavel for that period of time. Um, and it was during that that I realized that the next Congress, I wasn't going to be more productive for Western North Carolina. Oh, okay, so that was the time period that this came was, to you. It, it truly was the realization that, that my time was done and there needed to be a new voice. At a time where I had the most power, I felt like it, it was, it was the, the time for the end. Any highlights, or I guess since we don't have a lot of time here on television, I, I, it, is there one highlight that stands out in your 20 years? Anything that, in terms of an accomplishment or just something that happened while you were in office? No, I, I, the, the things that keep popping in my head are individual constituent interactions I've had. I'm in the community helping with a fire department or a grant or uh, meeting with people. Those are the things that gave me such joy in this uh, obviously, the travel is not fun. Going to D.C. can be a grind. There's a grind of the uh, push and pull of politics and, and the media and everything else. But the rewards were actually in the people I got to work with and the team I got to work with as my staff for, for the 10th District. Um, and, and those are the rewarding pieces that, uh, of the memories that I, that I keep and keep replaying in my head over the last, uh, over the last couple of months, about the last 20 years. And I guess the obvious final question is what's next for Patrick McHenry? I'll figure it out next year. I, I've got to run through the tape and, be, uh, and finish out the next two months. Um, and we still have legislative work we can, we can get done in November and December. I'm hopeful we can get some solid policy passed and, and acted into law. But until then, I, I still work for the people of the 10th District. And, uh, and then and next year I'll have to figure out what's next. Well, thank you so much. You've always been kind to give us time and to give me time to talk to you over the years. Like I said, it goes back to that first election. When I was in Caldwell County, you were doing some of the forums up there. We really appreciate you coming by, and best of luck in your retirement. Honored to be with you, Rob. Thank you. Patrick McHenry, Congressman, 10th District. Uh, this is his final term, his 10th term in office, and he joins us here on WHKY News.